All right, so here you have an iPhone 5S running on iOS 8 beta. And uh, this is just a quick video update to show you guys the two, I'm, I'm sorry, the three additions that they added to the camera app. So when you launch the camera app, the first thing you're going to notice is now you have the timer option. If you tap this timer icon on the top over here, you can choose from off 3 seconds or 10 seconds. If you choose the 3 seconds, just to give an example and take a photo, it is going to count down to 3 before it takes an actual shot. Now the other addition is the time lapse video option. So normally you have five options in uh, the iPhone 5 camera. You got the photo, you got the panorama, you got the square, and then you got the video, you got the slow motion, but now you have the time lapse option, which is going to allow you to create time lapse videos. If you don't know what time lapse videos are, just go Google that and you'll see what that is all about. It is a really great creative tool for creating some amazing looking videos. And the final thing that they added to camera, up, uh, camera apps so far is the ability to control the exposure of your, uh, of your image. So um, <clears throat> normally when you take a picture, it doesn't allow you to change the exposure. If you have an underexposed photo, which means uh, there's not enough brightness, or an overexposed photo, which means there's too much brightness, you can now adjust the exposure to uh, fine tune it so it looks more pleasing. And all you have to do is use your finger and go up and down on the screen. So you can go down after you have to first you have to focus. So let's say you want to focus right over here. And let's say you think this picture is too bright. You can reduce the brightness simply by sliding your finger down like that. Okay? You can also do that upstairs. Upstairs, I mean, by sliding up. And that is going to overexpose the photo. So um, anytime you think that your picture is either underexposed or overexposed, you can use the slider to adjust the brightness, the exposure of your pictures. So those are the three new things that they have added so far, which I was, I was able to see in iOS beta, the first release.